Good morning, everyone. Right now on Tess Isle, it's 11, 12 a.m. on Sunday, February 28th, 2021. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope the entire island joins me in giving our guest a warm welcome. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Hey guys, Tman28 here. Welcome to day 137 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Last time we celebrated Festival. Today, I want to go over all the bugs, fish, and sea creatures leaving on the first of next month in Northern Hemisphere Islands. But first, let's check the mail. We got a letter from the Happy Home Academy with my rank S. Nook shopping the Blossom Lantern, which is one of the seasonal items right now. And then this is a letter from Nintendo from updating the game. I just haven't opened it. I got it about four days ago, I believe. Dear Team Man 28, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well. From Nintendo. I believe that is the Super Mario wallpaper. Yep, the mushroom mural. And as you can see, the snow is all gone. It melted a few days ago, and now it's technically spring in the game. And it's actually raining, which I really like. I love the rain in Animal Crossing. Let's go check out and see who my camper is. And actually, the last camper I got was Midge, the bird, the pink bird. And she wanted to move in and take Eloise's spot, and I let her. I really like Midge. She's actually really good for the spring season as well. With her pink design. I'm not a huge fan of her house. Nice of you to stop in, Tweedledee. Stay as long as you like. I've been meaning to ask you about all the fossils I hear you dug up yesterday, Team N28. Have you had them assessed yet? It'd be so great if it if it turned out you found something rare. Here's a gift. Gotta start trying to get her photograph. Can I go ahead and open this? Oh, this is great. It's a coconut. Thanks. That's so thoughtful of you. A throwback mitt chair. And I still need to design her yard. I don't know. I think I might go with hyacinths. I'm not sure yet. Maybe it's not technically spring because the weeds are still the winter design. Let's see who our camper is. Oh gosh, you have to be kidding me. It's Greta. Ah, oh, do you live here? I'm Greta. A pleasure. I needed a little escape, darling, so here I am on this island, getting in touch with nature and such. I wasn't sure what I thought at first, but I tell you, I've really grown to like this place, yelp. Elle had Greta on her island in New Leaf and she was really mean to her. To be honest, darling, I wouldn't have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe to go without basic amenities, you know, like an infinity pool or a heated bidet. But much to my surprise, roughing it suits me just fine. It I find it appeals to my bold nature. No, this mouse isn't about to let a little fresh air in an unkept wilderness keep her from adventure. Oh gosh. Okay, well at least I'm kind of glad it's not someone great because I don't know who would move out besides Boomer. But since today is the last day of February, I wanted to go over all those creatures before they disappear. Significantly more than the previous couple of months, but it's not a huge amount by any means. Here's our message bottle. I 
don't really read them anymore since I basically have all the DOIs and I've read all the possible letters basically. Just forgot how nice the rain is in this game. Let's see if there's any more fossils. I saw the other one down below. Oh yeah, I got some art I need to donate to the museum as well. Let me go in and go over all that. Here's a fossil. Oh, there's a couple up here. You know, I am going to need to put this mushroom mural in my house in storage along with the... What is it? The blossom lamp? Blossom lantern. I also started to switch out my lilies to tulips since it's spring. I think tulips are the perfect spring flower. storage. Well, that is definitely Mario. Could have a Nintendo room now, but I don't really have any place in my house for it right now. What color throwback mitt chair is this? I, think I already have a blue one in storage. Yeah, I do. I can sell that. No new red or white tulip. Which I need. Assess those and donate the new artwork. I think my pockets are full. These are all fake artwork, I believe. So I need to give them to someone. Just drop this for now until I donate this. Let's make a donation. Donate this scary painting. Yep, that one is real. How about you assess our fossils? As we approach the end of this month, I want to go over the bugs, fish, and sea creatures that won't be available starting on March 1st. This month we have three bugs, two fish, and four sea creatures leaving on the first of next month in Northern Hemisphere Islands. The dung beetle is actually an exception and leaves on the 25th when the snow melts. This beetle can be caught at any hour of the day with the snow. The damselfly can also be caught at any hour of the day. Finally, Raha Brooks Birdwing can be found flying above flowers from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Moving on to the fish, the pond smelt. The pond smelt can be caught in the river at any time of the day. From 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., the blowfish can be caught in the sea. Now on to sea creatures. 
the oyster. And Venus's flower basket can be caught at any hour of the day. From 4 p.m. to 9 a.m., the sea pig and sweet shrimp can be caught. That is everything disappearing in just a few days. That is quite a few more creatures disappearing than the past couple of months, but it is still not too many. Most of these creatures are winter ones that won't come back again until next December. And with that, February is the final month for the creatures leaving of the end of the month to go through since we started last March. Diving wasn't added until July though, so I may still go over sea creatures leaving in the remaining few months. But yeah, that's all of them. We also have Nook Miles Plus. We got our fossils assessed, so let's go sell those. In this DIY. I think it is still technically winter because Nook's Cranny sells the winter stuff out, I think, until March 1st, but it's still basically spring now that all the snow melted. Oh, wait, yeah, it's Sunday. I like the director's chairs in the back, the customization it has. I think I might buy that. Oh, more than miles plus. Check out the Able Sisters, see if they have the St. Patrick's Day stuff out yet. I don't think they do. Doesn't look like it. It does look like they have more spring type clothes out now instead of all the wintry stuff. We should go to the Nook Stop and see if there's any seasonal items today. I don't think any more come until March 1st, but I could be wrong. Just the Hinan... Hinani... Hananingyo? Oh, that's hard to pronounce. For the girls day holiday in Japan, which I already have. We have some time. Um, let's go find Raymond. I want to give him a gift. I also want to work on Midge's yard. Chat, I was just wondering if I'd run into you. I guess that means I was thinking about you. Lucky me. What a fun surprise. I'll open this right now. A mixer. Okay. What customization is it? I always get the pink one for some reason. I guess I could use lilies for Midge's yard, but I think the red on the hyacinths might look better. I'll have to test them.
I'll have to empty my pocket so I can dig up the flowers from the yard quicker. Midge, wow, she looks really good. Let's not try to let this rain dampen our spirits, Tweedledee. Have you read our evaluation from the Happy Home Academy yet, T-Man 28? I haven't worked with the courage yet myself, Tweedledee. Yeah, I don't know if I should do pink or red. I think I'll do red, but pink might look okay too. Maybe with white? I don't know. Oh, my shovel broke. Gotta make another one. Take one more trip after this. That's a decent amount of bells for just a few flowers. Maybe I should avoid pink because Dom has pink behind her and Marina and Lily both have pink to the left and right so that might be too much pink. Maybe I should just stick with red. I should check what kind of flowers I have in the cabinets today. And then I could possibly plant those. Let's see. Oh, I do have hyacinths and lilies. That's actually perfect. And pansies. I don't think I'll use pansies on her, but... 
And we'll get five. You know what, I'll come back for the lilies. I'm gonna put a few flowers in our yard and see what I think of each. And I think I have, I know I have lilies around the landscaping, red lilies. And I, yeah, I do have a few hyacinths over here. Tulips might also work actually. I feel like I have to use white, though, to some capacity. I don't know. I kind of like how the hyacinths look against this door. Maybe I'll try tulips. Not a huge fan of how the lilies look there. I think I'll grab a red one while I'm at it. A red tulip. And I think we'll wrap it up for the day. No, they're too bright next to the house. I think I'll go with the hyacinths. I guess I could incorporate yellow because it would match the blinds. Maybe I'll just do these three colors. I'm not sure. I'll probably finalize it later on. I think I'll wrap it up. We went over everything I felt like we needed to. So, I think that wraps it up for another day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We went over all the bugs, fish, and sea creatures leaving on March 1st from Northern Hemisphere Islands. Next time I want to check out the Super Mario items in the game. So, thank you for watching, and consider liking and subscribing for much more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and everything else Nintendo. See you all next time.